confident, I guess, between those two guys in that left tackle spot? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, it, it's really good to see the the young guys stepping up in a big time way, especially at a position like left tackle. Uh, I think either of them can do a fantastic job in the Big Ten and uh, uh, during this year. And I think that they're both having both of them there, having that competition is definitely kind of stoked a fire under both of them, saying like, "Hey, I want the starting spot. Hey, I want the starting spot." So. I think that competition level between both of them is uh, making them both better players. As a veteran, I guess, sort of how do you maybe approach, and I know it's it's not a position you played really much in college anyway, but mm -hmm. you've got a really veteran line. How do you guys as a whole maybe approach sort of mentoring those two and, and, and maybe helping them along through as you start getting into sort of the thick of game prep? Yeah, I think one of the biggest things we can tell them is just stay calm and rely on your fundamentals uh, because sometimes, especially as a freshman, you're playing your first game, you get a little antsy, you kind of get the butterflies and stuff like that. So we just got to tell them to rely on the fundamentals because that's what will get, get you through the game. That will make you assignment correct 90, 95% of the time. So I think that's kind of our biggest point, you know, just keep relying on the fundamentals and play with the best amount of effort that you can. Not asking, I guess, to reveal any quarterback secrets, but Coach Wilson talked about, you know, I think in, in, in media day that whoever wins that job, um, you know, he's confident that there's enough leadership throughout the offense that that person maybe doesn't have to think too much about kind of the heavier responsibilities of leading and all those sorts of things. How do you maybe make that guy's job a little bit easier, whether it's Rich or anybody else? Yeah, have, having a, a lot of older guys on the offense definitely helps, you know. Dimitri, Wes, Bailey, myself, Ricky Jones, Mitchell Page, all those guys can definitely ease ease the pain of a younger guy kind of like uh, coming in the Big Ten. I, I think that uh, that will help any of them because I think all three have, are doing a solid job across the board in this camp, and I think we're confident in any three of them starting. So I think that uh, I think they'll do a solid job, any of them, honestly. Next time. Yep. It looks like Nate T's got pretty good feet for a guy that size. Oh yeah, he's gonna move. He about about 280. I always gonna say he's 260, really 280. <laughs> but he gonna cut on you. He gonna do all that. You gonna be surprised. People be surprised to see that big refrigerator moving like they got. Hey, like, how do you like being coached by uh, Coach McCollum? It's great, man. That, that, that's a great dude right there. Uh, a good friend, a good a good father role model for somebody who hasn't had one. Just an all around good person, honest guy, straight up with you. And just, just somebody you would want as a coach. How much has Divine and maybe some of the guys who played there for a couple of years helped you? I know you've been on defense, but it helps you like with the offense, learning the plays, what to do on certain things. How much how much you kinda of leaned on them? I lean on them a lot. That whole room is like it's all love. Like there's no hate, there's no like real like, okay, I'm I'm fighting against him, we're enemies right now. It's all love. Like he's gonna make sure I know I know what I gotta do. And I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure I cheer him on confidence and all that confidence is high in him. And we just all love each other. And I want the best for everybody. If you're in running the ball, I'm gonna cheer for you. I'm in, they're gonna cheer for me. I know it's, it's uh, both ways. That's something that's you know, good in a sense because Coach McCulley has a good problem. He's got a lot of backs at his disposal, but there might only be one out there at a time. Do you think you know the unity in the room is enough to make sure there's no petty jealousy or anything like that in terms of when the other guys are playing? Yeah, I mean, you know, if you, when you get in, you get your reps, make the best of them. That's what he said, make the best of them. You know you're gonna get a chance to play. You know he's going to rotate. So when you get your chance, you just got to take off with it and, and do what you do. What does it do for the running back room having two physical guys like you and Tyler, uh, you know, maybe for those goal line situations and just things like that? I think it just, it just raised the bar. Like, uh, you see somebody running tough, it might it might uh, encourage somebody else just to have a better day. Uh, people like it. They, I don't know what they like, run, people running through people's faces, stuff like that. I just think it just elevates the room and it adds, adds to all the other like character backs we got, such as like speed backs, like one cut quick backs, all that. And just, it just makes it makes great diversity. I'm sure it's pretty challenging for the linebackers, though. I'm, you know, having not had to you know tackle that physical backs maybe in the past. I mean, obviously, guys like Jordan and Tevin were pretty physical, but I mean, I don't think Tevin or Jordan ever were at you know 280 pounds like Tyler. Yeah, I mean, coming from that side of the ball, you got a different mindset. As a linebacker, you just you really don't care. Like, well, that's a hot thing. I don't mm -hmm. care how big you is, but it, it takes a toll on you after a while, hitting that over and over and over again. Everybody's human, so eventually you'll break down. Obviously, uh, the running game is going to be dependent upon you know, to a degree. You know, you're going to have a new quarterback, and uh, as he's settling in, 
you know, you got an offensive line that's a veteran line, and you have you know proven skill guys. You know, do you, what's it like to run behind this offensive line? You've been on the other side of the field from them. Uh, now that you're behind them, running behind them, what is that? You know, how good is that line? Pretty, it's, it's a fantastic line. I, I watched them over three years. I played against all of them. I know how all of them move, and just to be on that side of the ball, running behind them, because like, oh man, I see, I see why these holes so big. I see, I see why you're getting all these yards and stuff. Like, it's great. I say it's a great feeling. What, what's the strength of it? What, what makes it good? Just the motivation to come work hard every day. Like that room, Coach Rod, they, those, those guys are so locked in every day and so like, so ready to go. And they just take their job serious. They sprint even when it's like break time. They sprint out the field. They sprint down the field. They, they just do, they do stuff that a big person usually don't do. They go outside the box to make themselves better. Thanks. You're welcome.